why Manchester United should sign Ruben Neves, the Premier League's best deep line playmaker. This video will be the fourth episode in my series looking at who Manchester United should sign this summer transfer window, with the first episode looking at who Manchester United should sell, the size of the transfer budget and the positions that they need to improve upon. In the second episode I look at why Manchester United should sign Teo Hernandez at left back and in the third I look at why Manchester United should be signing Wilfred and Didi, analysing them statistically and how they could be used tactically in social systems. Those videos will be linked in the description below. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get notified when the remaining two episodes of this series come out, looking at two other players that Manchester United should be signing. Also comment your central midfield signing that you would make in the comment section below. So as I have talked about in prior episodes of this series, I think United should target two central midfielders, one being a ball winner and one being a playmaker. Wilfred Ndidi was a ball winning central midfielder that I chose and you can watch the video analysing why I chose him after this, it will be linked in the description below. So with that, the creative playmaker to play alongside Ndidi I would sign would be Wolves' is Ruben Nevers. Nevers has only just turned 23, so it's a fantastic age for United to recruit him. He would probably cost around 75 million, with his stock being very high and Wolves in no need to sell one of their top performers. However, despite this cost, I think Nevers would be worth every penny. Nevers' best attribute is his long passing ability. He can pick the ball up in a deep area and with one pass switch the attack out wide into an advanced position, in quarterback like fashion. For Wolves this asset is vital to their attack in play as they primarily look to transition the attack quickly and therefore are reliant on players like Yota and Jimenez making runs in behind the back line and having players in deep areas who can play these passes. This was evident against Leicester last season, when Wolves won the ball back deep in their own half, Neves would be the man to play those long passes over the back line to release the Wolves forwards, which was where Wolves' third and fourth goals came from. This shows that having a central midfielder who can play these sorts of passes can add a completely different dimension to a team's attack. When we look at United's current set of central midfielders, we can see the improvement Neves would bring. As I said in my first episode of this series, I think they should look to sell Pogba in the summer even though the Frenchman does have this same long passing ability as Neves does and could play a deep line playmaker role. Fred is United's best central midfielder assuming Pogba leaves, but he isn't a deep line creator, he's more of a ball winner or a box to box midfielder depending on the system. As I said in my Wilfred and Didi video, Fred is a very good pressing central midfielder and is good at circulating possession efficiently, so he could play alongside Neves if Ndidi was out. We can clearly see Neves' long passing ability when we take an analytical view. In the Premier League this season, he has completed the second most long passes of any central midfielder with 5.7 per game, as well as ranking second for this stat last season as well. This is more than Fred who still ranks pretty highly in sixth with 4.6 per game, and a lot higher than McTominay who has recorded 2.1 per game and Matic who has 2.4 per game. Therefore, just putting Nevers in the United midfield with no other signings would improve United's ability to create chances, both against sides who leave space in behind their back line and against deeper defensive units. Nevers perfectly suits a possession based system, as seen as he's only had 0.5 unsuccessful touches per game, which is the second least of any central midfielder in the league. Whereas Matic has had one unsuccessful touch per game, Fred has recorded 1.8 per game, and McTominay 1.9 per game. Nevers would therefore bring a greater press resistance to the United midfield, improving their ability to play out of an aggressive press. At the moment, Nevers isn't a better defensive midfielder than what United have got. We can see this as he doesn't make a huge amount of tackles. He has completed 1.7 per game, but been dribbled past 1.4 times per game, whereas Matic has completed 2.2 per game and has only been dribbled past 1.2 times per game. I'd say Nevers and Fred are similar defensively. They are both well suited to playing in a double pivot, knowing when to push up and apply the pressure to the opposition's midfield. Both are not great when faced with one-on-ones in the middle of the pitch, which is seen as Fred has been dribbled past three times per game this season. This is why I would bring in Wilfred and Didi to partner either Neves or Fred, as Ndidi is by far the best ball winner in the league, which would give balance to the United midfield. Obviously, we all know Neves' long-range shooting ability is something unique, which is another valuable weapon to add to United's arsenal and could prove significant in games where they struggle to break down deep defensive units. So how would Neves fit into Solskjaer's system? But with the three signings I've already talked about making, Teo Hernandez, Wilfred Ndidi and Ruben Neves, the side would be set up like this in Solskjaer's preferred 4-2-3-1 shape. Neves and Ndidi would sit as a midfield double pivot, 
As I spoke about in my video on Teo Hernandez, which should appear in the eye above, Solskjaer should use an asymmetric back four in position, with Teo pushing forward like a left winger when Rashford moves in field, whilst wan on the other side will keep a more reserved position, still pushing forward but not as continuously as Teo, who is a much better attacking fullback. I would use Ndidi on the left side of the pivot, as he has the necessary athleticism and defensive attributes to fill that space if the opposition look to attack down there when Teo is upfield. Neves on the right side wouldn't have this sort of defensive responsibility, with wan not leaving as much space behind him going forward and being a world-class one-on-one defender. Neves is accustomed to playing in a two-man midfield, as he has done for Wolves in their 5-2-3 shape. So his positional play in this sort of shape is very good, and he should create an excellent pressing midfield alongside Ndidi. In possession, Neves will play the role of the deep-line playmaker in the side, tasked with receiving the ball from the centre-backs and using his world-class passing ability to advance the attack into dangerous positions. With the likes of Martial and Rashford looking to make runs in behind the opposition's backline frequently, Neves' passing could be United's key weapon, making their counter-attack even more lethal and giving them the ability to switch the ball out to the wide attackers in a matter of seconds, something that we used to see Paul Scholes do multiple times throughout a game when he played alongside Michael Carrick. So with Neves just 23, solving United's biggest issues in midfield, I think he'd be the perfect signing for Solskjaer. In the next episode I'll look at the right winger I would sign and in the episode after that I'll look at the striker I would sign and also how the team all together would work. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get notified when those videos come out and check out the previous episodes in the description below.